Right, well, it's time now for sports news, and here's Kayode Alayondi. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Welcome to Sports News. I'm Kayode Alayonde. The Athletics Federation of Nigeria has released a 17-man team for the upcoming IAAF World Championships in China. Topping that list is Africa's fastest woman, Blessing Okagbari. Some of the others include Nigerian 100 meters champion Gloria Asumu, 400 meters runner Regina George, triple jumper Tosin Oke, and high jumper Doreen Amata. The competition is scheduled to hold from August the 22nd to the 30th in Beijing. Still in athletics, the IAAF has announced that uh, testing of samples from the 2005 and 2007 World Championships has thrown up 28 athletes with, quote, adverse test results. According to the world governing body, majority of the athletes uh, retired with very few still active. In total, there were 32 adverse findings from the 28 athletes and the IAAF is provisionally suspending them. Although none of the 28 athletes can be named yet due to the legal process, none of those concerned would be competing at the 2015 World Championships in Beijing, which begins on August the 22nd. And Pedro Rodriguez scored a dramatic winner in extra time to help Barcelona beat Sevilla 5-4 in the UEFA Super Cup. Despite going down early to a strike from Eva Banega, Barcelona threw Lionel Messi with two goals and further strikes from Rafinha and Luis Suarez looked on cause for an easy win. However, Sevilla fought back to take the game into extra time. But with five minutes left, Pedro pounced on a rebound to give Barcelona victory. To football now, Super Falcons interim coach Christopher Danjuma is confident the team has all it takes to impress at the All-Africa Games. Coach Danjuma admits the team is still work in progress, but they are ready to make up for the lapses noticed during the qualifiers for the 2016 Olympic Games. He said only good, uh, or only gold rather, will be good enough for Nigeria after the Super Falcons failed to qualify for the Olympics. Nine players are in camp while others will join after the Federation's Cup matches. Still on football, former International Olympic Committee Director General Francois Carrad has, uh, has been appointed chairman of the new FIFA Reform Task Force. The 77-year-old Swiss, who guided the IOC through its own corruption scandal following the votes for 2002 Winter Olympics won by Salt Lake City, will head an 11-man team charged with reforming scandal-plagued FIFA. FIFA said that each of the six continental football federations would have two representatives on the task force, while there would also be two members appointed by FIFA's commercial partners yet to be announced. And that's all from the sporting world tonight. The rest of the news continues right now. This is the ultimate redefined for men. On the foreign scene, it seems to be a season of discovery for Boeing flights as investigators in the Netherlands have found fragments of a suspected Russian missile system. The fragments were found at the flight MH17 crash site in Ukraine. Here's Cynthia Arya with more. Well, thank you. In addition, the investigators also say the parts possibly from a box surface to air system are of particular interest and could help show who was behind the crash. But they also say they have not proved their casual connection with the crash. Also today, the Turkish army says Turkey has launched a series of overnight airstrikes against Kurdish militants aimed at 17 targets in the southeast. The targets were in Hankari province on the border with Iran and Iraq. Turkey has seen increasing violence in recent weeks between the military and Kurdish separatists. 
Then some news from the Central African Republic where the former president Francois Bozizé will return from exile to contest a presidential election in October, two years after he was forced from power. Those aspirations were confirmed by the leader of his Kwanakwa political party. Finally, two months after Ghana is still struggling to pick up the pieces following the flood inferno disaster which left well over 150 people dead, the death toll has climbed by one. This comes as authorities in Ghana's capital Accra have recovered a body from one of the buildings destroyed in the inferno. The body was found in the rubble of a shop gutted in the 3rd of June blaze after locals complained of a foul smell. That's the foreign news wrap-up. It's back to you, Bimbo. Thank you, Cynthia. And the main news again. President Mohamedou Buhari has sustained his tough stance against corruption, reiterating that officials found to have stolen money will be tried in a matter of weeks. The Boko Haram sect has struck again as a bomb is reported to have gone off at the peak of buying and selling in Dumboa Market, Borno State. Eyewitness says scores of people have been killed. And the Commonwealth has promised to collaborate with Nigeria in nation building. The body's Secretary General made the promise to President Mohamedou Buhari ahead of the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting built for November in Malta. And that brings us to the end of the news at 10 tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Let's do it again tomorrow. I'm Bimbo Lady. Good night.